right here we go Pum Vincent here one more video on cravings I don't know how many I'm gonna do but I got tons <laughs> so yeah the other day I was talking about uh, supportive environment check it out if you if you haven't seen it otherwise today is gonna be about social pressure which is kind of a link to a supportive environment it comes uh before the need for supportive environment but understanding the social pressures is great because you can deal with it a lot better so now you're raw vegan and i don't know how long you're in but you probably started to understand that everyone around you is eating that old comfort food of yours and you are probably going crazy the addiction is one thing, looking at that food is one thing, and then dealing with the people is another. It's true. So, first of all, the food around you that you see, okay? This, my best advice is walk away. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> Until you feel strong with yourself, all right? Just walk away. And even if you feel strong with yourself, um, straight up, don't underestimate or not don't overestimate your confidence okay if you're new to this i would say the first two years of your of you being fully raw until those new habits or yours or you until they become you okay because you keep adding these new habits because every day that you do the same stuff you're building your new habits and you're becoming more and more this other thing that you want this other model so until you haven't reached that you, then I would just say walk away from these dining tables. Just say, that's my next point. When you talk to people, all right? So walk away from those people, I mean from the dining table, until you're strong enough, all right? Second advice is for the people, how to deal with people. Well, my greatest way is straight up empathy. You either connect with them or you help them connect with you. Right? If you for, best to help them connect with you, I mean, help is the best to first connect with them, understand them, and eventually they will listen to you. Because otherwise they're kind of shut down. But depends on the person. If you have like your family, your friends, not just some stranger, telling you, hey, I'm worried or telling you is that really good or they're just questioning whatever you do and they're arguing with you and it can sound very unpleasant and uh, patronizing well remember one thing they're doing this because they worry for you most of the time all right and if they don't then it's probably another need that is quite natural like they are curious about what you do and they don't know how to express it and it sounds very like you're wrong like they know everything maybe that's what you're hearing but really deep down they're they're trying to find out but they're just clumsy at it and so anyway connect with their needs okay it's either they're trying to help you or they're trying to learn or they are just worried they're just really worried and they, they they care for you yeah it's the same thing so once you've connected with that um, and they feel understood because you can understand them, but they don't feel understood. So if that happens, then they are most likely to be shut down. It's just like any, any drama in your life, all right? This is like basic knowledge on how to solve a conflict. It's if somebody is not open, if, if, if the person doesn't feel understood by you, they, they, they can easily shut down, okay? So you can explain yourself and your needs and your feelings and 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 be very very uh, very nice and very just non-violent in your in, in your ex expressions and and the person will just not hear ever anything because they don't feel understood so you might want to get them open first so best way is to ask them questions you ask them questions or you repeat what they're saying this is like basic stuff for any conflict any conflict okay i've learned this in classes okay like like conflict resolutions here in Pura Fruta we have drama just like any family but here we educated ourselves to deal with conflicts a little better better so we have facilitators we have like Tamsin over here that's such an angel she's a steward 
<laughs> of conflict resolution and she just translates what the hell people are saying and she's really good at that but anyway so in this mediation we learn that if the person is not open you 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 gotta ask questions the only thing that will come out of your mouth is either a question or repeating the words that the person has said this is like th something to sink in your mind if, so if you have any conflict if you have any argument with anyone you either ask questions or repeat what they're saying. Nothing else comes out of your mouth. mouth. Nothing. Like, not even, while well, actually you don't understand, this is actually what's, tr what's happening right here. The facts are this. Like, it's so simple sometimes for us. Just like, no, no, no. If I just show them that this is actually what happened or that this is actually not true, like you can get your protein from plants that you can, uh, that you can carb up with, uh, with bananas and that fats and sugars don't mix and that's why there's diabetes and all that. So you can go there, it sounds very simple, but if the person's not open, they're not going to listen. Okay, so get them open, and then eventually you get to the point where you can explain yourself. And, okay, two approach. First, there's the activist approach, and the, uh, the peaceful approach where you just survive. You just want to go through that day of like this family meeting or this reunion you have without too much drama. You just want to like, go, you know, move over to the next topic and... And <laughs> just hey, let's have a good night here. Let's let's not get into debates or activism. All right. So the second one, I would say first, if you if you want to do it the empathical way, uh, you talk about your doctor. You have a doctor that told you that you need to change your diet because your doctor is your body. All right. Your doctor is your body. Don't ever forget that. So your doctor is doing a program with you, and you're just decided to. Just do what he says. Just, just, just empower your doctor. That's what you're doing. You're empowering your doctor. And you have to go on this raw vegan diet for a while. And you're having a hard time with cravings. Be open about it. You're having a hard time with cravings. You see cooked food and all, and it's difficult for you to change your diet. You're trying to do something good. And don't try to uh, 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 tell them why you're doing this and so much. Because then it gets like de debating and... It's not so you know easy but if you do like on your side I have a need for changing my diet I have a need for reaching a higher levels of health and my doctor really tells me I need to do this and I want to listen to my doctor and I need help I have a need for support for my friends for my family to support me in this therefore I'm gonna walk away from the table when it's time to eat and please don't offer me alcohol please don't offer me my old drugs or uh, uh, weed or like uh, bread, whatever they, the, the things you used to do and you just ask them for your help, okay? Really cool advice, seriously. Ask them for your help. And then if you want to go the activist way, well, that's simple. You ask questions. It's called the uh, Arist uh, the uh, Socrates approach. It's used a lot by uh, Anonymous by the vo for the voiceless. And yeah, just ask questions. Like, uh, do you think uh, there's the protein or, or, or in plants? Or do you think, uh, the, do you know anything about uh, the relation with fat and sugar? Do you think, do you know anything about uh, how to heal? Uh, do you know anything about natural hygiene? Do you know anything about this? Uh, and then keep asking questions. Just whatever you're trying to say, put it, uh, form it as a question. And that's really going to help. So, yeah, for, that's it for today. And I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe and share even. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.